Hello everyone. In today's video, I have an introduction to a new cooking product. Now, I am not a very good cook and when my partner asks me what I'm making for dinner, I usually say, I don't know dear, what would you like me to order from Uber Eats? And if he still persists and wants something home cooked, then I say, well, would you like Raisin Bran or would you like Cheerios? Because I'm here to make you happy. So during this time where a lot of people are teleworking, locked in the house, etc., etc., because we want to be careful with the virus and that we are not spreading it around, I decided to get a Shibuki portable pot from Itaki. And this is something that you can keep at your desk and cook with. So let's open the box and see if there are any instructions and just in general see what this looks like. Okay. Oh, looks like it has a little lid here in the bubble wrap. And the pot looks like this. And I already love it. My favorite color is actually green. <gasps> and would you look at this? It comes with a little basket, maybe a little carrying case for when you want to take this with you to work. I actually think that's pretty adorable. Okay, so I have a little flyer here. I think using the word flyer is a little optimistic. It looks like it's just a little folded up piece of paper here. And it says the Itaki Multifunction Cooking Lunchbox. Nutritious meals, healthy meals on the go, energy efficient and eco-friendly, portable and space efficient. So this is a self-cooking pot. And down below we have the usage instructions. Fill shibuki with soup, water, or oil. Plug the shibuki pot and turn the device on. Control the heat to the necessary level. High heat is for boiling or frying, while medium heat is for slow cooking or keeping warm. I think they need to slow down for someone who's just poured cereal for a meal. I don't think I'm going to try out frying just yet. Place the glass lid on to prevent overflow. The sides of the shibuki are heat protected to prevent scalding. And then there's some disclaimers and important notes and precautions such as keep away from heat sensitive materials, laptops, electronic devices. Hot contents inside may damage surrounding, val <clears throat> surrounding valuables if accidental spillage occurs. Unplug the device before moving the item. Makes sense, but you never know, there's always someone. Do not place the device on unstable surfaces or areas that may be easily knocked over. I mean, they probably got sued, so I'm sure it had to be said. Keep the pot out of reach of children under 14. Do not use excessive force to press the power switch on. Hmm, fancy that. Do not leave the pot unattended. Oh, do not immerse the pot entirely in water when cleaning. Try to wash by hand. If the shibuki pot is submerged in water, please allow it to dry prior to use. 
if the power cord is damaged, please contact the vendor for replacement. And you can go to their website and get cooking tips and recipes for your shibuki pot. So here is the power cord. And I am going to take it out of the plastic. And there is the shibuki pot. And that is what it looks like inside. So I guess if you wanted to do some stir fry in there with a little bit of oil, like I said, I think I'm gonna try some soups and ramens first just to settle in to the idea of actually cooking something. And let me get the lid out of the plastic so that we can see what it looks like. There is our lid, looks scarily dirty, so this is gonna have to get washed, which of course I would have washed it anyway because you just never know. And all put together, this is what our little shibuki pot looks like. So I will be downloading some recipes from the internet and I will be seeing if I can cook while I am teleworking right next to my desk set up at the dining room table in the shibuki pot. So stay tuned as I will be doing some videos where I film, where I attempt to cook without lighting the whole house on fire. And if we can see if the shibuki pot is something we all need in our lives to make lunch a little bit healthier, a little bit easier. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next update.